So a while back, the other side showed me this scene where this woman was trying to trick a guy by getting pregnant on purpose. And back then I sent out a couple tweets about it and that was it. Like basically just, you know, telling people to beware, you know, of people trying to purposely get pregnant. And they showed me that same clairvoyant scene again, which is why I decided to make a video about this subject. Um, really focusing on women trying to trap people and deceive them by getting pregnant on purpose, grabbing onto their ankles, wanting to be connected for life via this child. And of course, when this respective woman gets pregnant, it's gonna be a big surprise because she's gonna do this huge acting job like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm pregnant. This is crazy. When really she didn't take her pill on purpose or whatever, <laughs> poked a hole in the condom, who knows, took out her IUD, didn't tell them. So this is about a woman specifically trying to trap a guy in order to get him to commit to her. Um, we're connected by blood now, you know? Um, <laughs> we have this child together. Having a child together is very, very intimate. It's like your souls fusing together, you know, mixing your DNA together. So that's really that whole sinister plot behind it. And so the intentions are purely selfish. Selfish, impure intentions. And um, it's, uh, it's really just an attempt to hold on to them. Um, and in some cases make the man love them because they're connected. So they're hoping that just repeated exposure and having that connection, he falls in love with them. He respects them. Oh, you're my baby mama. I have to treat you a certain way, that kind of thing. Um, another thing is money. <laughs> well, this person I feel them kind of slipping away. I have a feeling they're gonna break up with me. Well, I wanna have a kid and I wanna make sure this kid's paid for. Uh, this respective person is an athlete who makes a ton of money. So I'd be stupid to just let him walk away. I'm gonna hurry up and get pregnant. So number one, hopefully he won't walk away from me. And number two, if he does, I get child support. No matter what, this child is paid for. So I'm gonna go ahead and retire and everything's cool, right? <laughs> so it's all like impure, selfish intentions. Sometimes it has to do with love, where it's like they want to hang on to them because they love them. And sometimes it's just all about money. It's like, well, I want to have a kid before I die. And I want to make sure that kid's paid for and you got a ton of money. So maybe they don't love the guy. Maybe they just see him as one big walking dollar sign. Just want to use him. Just want to use him. It's like, you've got nice, strong genes. Give me those genes. I want to make a kid with you. And then the kid's paid for. So it's just this plan. You know, I choose you. You're my baby daddy. Um, and others are in love and they just don't want to let go. So they revert to deceit. Um, but where did this decision come from? The dark. <laughs> this decision came from the dark. The dark is also very strategic. So suppose this guy was going to break up with you and meet his soulmate and marry her and have children. <laughs> well, the dark doesn't want that. The dark doesn't want the guy with his soulmate. So the dark is going to try to work through this desperate woman and have her get pregnant on purpose. This is what the dark does, by the way. The dark works through people. So it's a sinister plan by the dark to screw up this guy's life. Your soulmate's about to come onto your path, but oh, you're, you're gonna get this other woman pregnant. And that's gonna screw you up and that's gonna screw up your soulmate. Because when she meets you, she's gonna be like, what? What's going on over there? And that's gonna deter her. So see how that works? And the dark's sitting there laughing like, oh, he screwed you up. Because maybe this woman who's trying to hold on to the man is super duper attractive. Maybe she looks like a model. And so she gets him drunk, lures him in, and has sex with her. She's so beautiful and attractive, right? So the mortal side kicks in, and he wants her for physical pleasure, and then she gets pregnant. See how that works? Happens all the time, on purpose. So I just want to let you know, this is the strategy of the dark. So beware, beware. Um, so um, yeah, it's the dark working through people basically. Now, because this decision came from the dark, what is the woman attracting to herself? 
more darkness because she aligned herself with the dark. She's working for the dark. Um, I'm not blaming the child. I'm not blaming the child. I'm not saying this is some sort of devil child. I'm saying it's all the woman. It's all the woman's free will decision to do this. It's a setup, right? So this decision was from, for, was from the dark. So the problem is ill intent. And suppose this woman had a plan in her head, right? This is how it's going to go. Well, what if your plan backfires? Because the law of attraction you're working for the dark, so darkness is what you attract to yourself, which is misfortune. So what if your plan backfires? What if the guy resents you, hates you, treats you like a piece of crap, hangs out with the kid and pretends like you don't exist and just ignores you? <laughs> treats the kid like gold, but treats you like crap. <laughs> your plan could backfire. <laughs> maybe you don't get as much child support as you thought you were. <laughs> so maybe the money even backfires. Um, so th the problem is, is you're, you know... It, it, it might not end up being all you've imagined. Um, but something to ponder since your decision came from the dark. That's what you attract to yourself. So your plan might not go <laughs> as you'd hoped. Um, why? Because you're not aligned with truth. What is the truth? What if you were actually supposed to... <laughs> what if you actually walked up to this guy and spoke your truth? Hey, I'm afraid to lose you. <laughs> I'm really afraid I'm going to lose you. I love you very much. I want you to be the father of my children. Can we talk about this? So lay it out on the line. That's your truth anyway, isn't it? Instead of forcing things, you actually have a bigger chance of success just being truthful and laying your heart out on the table. Even if you do get rejected, who cares? You spoke your truth, which means you're holding God's hand because God is the truth and the light. That would be a decision coming from the light. Um, so yeah, you need to stop manipulating people and basically focus on self-love. Um, a better approach is respect. And what are you supposed to respect? You're supposed to respect their free will. The divine holds free will in very high esteem. He preserves free will. He's very respectful of it, and he expects us to be as well. Um, it's a huge no-no to be controlling and to disrespect hum human free will. That's a huge no-no. And so... What is this woman doing? She's broadcasting a signal to the universe. Hey God, I need to learn lessons. I need to learn lessons here. I need to learn about compassion, respect, consideration. Um, gosh, there's like multiple, multiple lessons you, you need to learn from trying to trap somebody. Um, it's kind of like... <sighs> the, other, the other side is saying, we see you. Like, we know what you did last summer. We see you. We saw everything you did. So it's like the light knows. There's no secrets. Um, but it doesn't end there. Uh, you know, because you're letting the divine know, I need to learn about, you know, compassion, um, consideration, respect, free will. Like, there's a lot of lessons to be learned here. So how do we learn them? Karmic, karmic lessons. You trade places. Um... You know, your intent was to, was money, you know, to trap somebody and to get them to fall in love with you, you know? Um, so how do we learn? How do we learn from this? Our karmic lessons where the tables are going to be turned, right? Maybe you're going to be put in their shoes where you're trapped, you're deceived, and you really don't appreciate it. And then you pay close attention to how you feel and what you learn from that situation because you've actually done that to somebody else. So this is you attracting that kind of situation back to yourself. So, yeah, the tables will be turned to where, yeah, you're tricked or duped. And that's basically the universe showing you what you did. Just so you know. Uh, and really, the other side is asking you to focus on self-love. They're saying, please just focus on self-love. And really kind of going with the flow of the universe. And um, just expecting the universe to take care of you where... If you just go with the flow of life and love and just trust that the right guy will want to be with you and that these kind of antics aren't necessary. <laughs> They're not necessary anyway, but for you to realize you don't have to resort to deception in order to have a man be with you. Like He should want to be with you his own accord his own free will without you trapping him with a child, right? 
So that's what the other side is suggesting is please go towards truth, respecting free will, and focusing on self-love. Otherwise, there's going to be karmic lessons you have to learn. And trust me when I say you do not want to broadcast that signal to the divine that you have lessons to learn because those lessons are hard learned and painful. Okay? So manifest your soulmate. Manifest that, you know, perfect love into your life and attract it to yourself. And trust that God in the universe will take care of you and that you have wonderful and amazing things in store. And in the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.